If you or someone you love has a life endangering allergy, you are most likely following the saga of the EpiPen. Many families are being forced to risk not having the life-saving drug because of its rising prices. In 2007, the price of an EpiPen was $57. Now it costs $600 for a package of two pens. Mylan, the company that makes and sells EpiPens, bought the EpiPen in 2007. Before the buyout, an EpiPen cost $7. Since Mylan bought it out, the price has increased greatly. In a statement, Mylan acknowledged more needs to be done to help patients with high deductible insurance plans. Now, despite the skyrocketing prices, a group in Nashville is working to get ep epinephrine to as many businesses as possible. EpiPens may save lives, but education is the first step of treatment. Matthew Torres is here in the studio with us with more. Matthew? John, a study shows up to 200 people are killed due to food allergies every single year. That is one alarming statistic and just one reason why creating awareness is key. We were not prepared at all. Our extended family, nobody had had this challenge. I think I read maybe four books in the first week on it. If there's myself. one thing that connects Katie Lennon and Carol Lynn Portis together, it's that their two kids have suffered an anaphylactic reaction. It's a frightening experience and it it requires immediate attention. Their children are alive thanks to the life-saving drug epinephrine given through an auto injector. Both ladies started a company called LifeReach in 2012 to educate and create awareness. The keys to treating this are truly to be educated and prepared to respond. The government also responded over the years. In 2013, the legislature passed a law that requires schools across Tennessee to keep at least two EpiPens at all times. Call it a crucial step. It's the first time that the uh, medication that we are aware of can be prescribed to an entity rather to an individual. But most may not realize that there is a newly passed law. Since July 1st, public spaces can now make epinephrine available. It really allows entities to make their own decision if they have the presence of an allergen um, with the potential of anaphylaxis to happen on site to place the medication. The goal is to get a hold of the life-saving medicine as easy as a defibrillator in places such as camps, restaurants, churches, um, malls, public facilities, um, sports arenas. That's where Portis and her team step in. It hasn't even been three months since the new law, but their mission to get places to carry the drug is stronger than ever, despite the controversial price hike. There are plenty of hurdles, and we just want to make people aware that they have the option, especially with education, to help one another. The costs may have changed, but the purpose stay the same. That is why we got into this. If we save one life, it's worth it. Now, once any public entity agrees to have epinephrine available, they must go through a certification of completion every other year. We'll have more information about the organization and about anaphylaxis on our website at newschannel5.com.